tonight is March the 30th 2018 and I've got a really interesting project this is a parallel push-pull 300B amplifier these are this is one brand of 300B and this is another brand so that's why they look different I've just got them plugged in right now just 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 for the looks and um, I've got some seven in sevens right here which are going to go right here which are the loctal type uh, 6s in sevens basically I'd like to show you one oh darn well I tore that off didn't I well that's what happens when you try to do something with one hand but I can I can put it back um, they're really nice looking little tubes well it out of there. Look at there. Isn't that a pretty little thing? Raytheon. You can just look right into them and see that they look like a uh, a version of a 6SN7 or 6SL7. Anyway, well, I'll have to put, put that back on there, but that's okay. Anyway, they'll go in here. I don't have, and one of the reasons I'm posting this tonight is I don't have a schematic exactly of what I want yet so if you got or know of any sources of uh, 300B amplifiers you might let me know here's the power supply for it it's got a big UTC transformer over here this is a CG422 got lots of taps on it oil capacitors this is a filament transformer got a bunch of taps so you can you can look down in the red there and, and see it and this is a, a dual choke I'm not exactly sure how that came about but this right here this is a UTC um, oh darn what's it called it's written down here it's a um, LS 58 See, it's, I don't know if you can read that. I hope you can. 2,500 ohms plate to plate or 1,500 ohms. And uh, this is a uh, push-pull plate to push-pull grid driver. This is also a, this is a choke. Uh, this is the kind of choke they use in uh, one of the Altec amps. It's a 300 Henry little choke that you can put um, across the cathodes of the driver tubes to drive the grids of these two of these of these tubes um, I've got all the data on this it's taken me most of the day just to collect the data actually I just got everything in today and I've been playing with it off and on uh, there's the power transformer right there 435 volts each side of the center tap or 365 it's got another winding it's 125 each side of the center tap got a bunch of filament windings too I don't know if you've ever looked up uh, United Transformer Company uh, specs or not but even once you get all the specs then you have to search for the uh, terminal arrangements for UTC and then you have to look it up again and see like the LS58 that's that big uh, output transformer you have to uh, go through here and find its pinout. It's a bit of a complicated process, but I'm there. I got it all figured out. I have measured them with my uh, little device over here for measuring inductance, and I'm very pleased that it can even accurately measure this one. I measure this one at like 315 Henry's. Yes, 315 Henry's very high these are these are beautiful transformers aren't they this one measures I think about well maybe I should show you I don't know if you want to watch me uh, measure the inductance of transformers again but I think it's about six or eight Henry's actually surprisingly low you know the transformers like the Acrosound transformers they come at the, up at 20 something 20 21 22 Henry's uh, I've got a Chicago standard transformer that measures 40 Henry's and I actually expected this one to be at that level but it's not now this one right here because it's a 50,000 ohm um, 
grid winding it measures up in the 30 or 40 canaries I don't remember I did measure I measured them all because I wanted to know one I wanted to know what this was actually I need to I need to measure this and post it I'll pull these tubes out I'm going to turn this guy upside down at least measure this one and this one show you how they how the measurement process works if nothing else to measure and document and post what this is because you're not going to find that in any kind of a manual so let, let's do that well let me let me show you some other things though here's a rectifier tubes let's just take a peek at those this is just a look see right now yeah see there's the rectifiers holy cow made in USA electrons Inc a Jan tube even wow 3b22 I'm familiar with 3b28 I've used them before in transmitters but I've never used a 3b22 I guess they're a xenon typed uh, t tube I guess they're going to glow purple we'll see it'll take me a few days to get this thing together and again any help you can give me on schematics is greatly appreciated um, right now I'm pretty well have it in my head to build this very similar to the Altec amplifier that runs the pair of 811s. I can't remember its model number right off. It uses, in the beginning, it uses like a 12AX7, which we could use, but we're going to, you know, kind of a Williamson design, except this goes in the cathode of the driver and then it drives the grids of these tubes. I'm, I'm confident that that will work because it works with a pair of 811s. 811s have a uh, amplification factor of 160. The amplification factor of 3B or 300Bs is 3.8. So they're supposed to be extremely linear. Another tube that I'm probably going to try in here are these guys right here. These Fitzlana uh, 572-10s. They have a, a gain a mu or an amplification factor, whatever you want to call it, of 10. But the 300B is, I believe, 3.8. Very, very low gain, very linear tube. So we're going to see how this guy works out. There's, a, there's nothing under the chassis. You'll see in here in just a second. Let's flip it upside down. And I'm going to measure this guy right here. Like I say, just for the sake of documenting it and putting it on YouTube. Okay, I've got the transformer hooked up. For the schematic, let me show you the schematic diagram here. It's got a plate, a plate prime, B plus, B plus, plate prime, and plate. Well, I've got B plus and B plus, of course, hooked together, and we're measuring from plate to plate. So that's the 2500 ohm winding. 1500 ohm winding would be from P prime to P prime. But just from P to P should be 2500 ohms. Actually, I'm going to measure the impedance of it, too. What I also found out before we take a look at it is this is going to be ground down here. And then the impedance just start coming up, and then you strap these two together. And then the impedance comes up and up and up, and you strap those two together and up and up. So you get all of the, uh, the values of impedance, which are actually pretty remarkable. The output impedance is 500, 333... 250, 200, 125, 50, 30, 20, 15, 10, 7 and a half, 5, 2 and a half, and 1.2. Pretty amazing, huh? Or I see I can get the 2,500 ohm plate to plate or 1,500 ohm. Well, I've got it strapped right now for 2,500 ohms, but actually all we're going to measure right now is the direct inductance of it. This would be plate to plate. And here are the results. Uh, I have to put in this is the frequency I'm testing it at 40 Hertz uh, These are the values in my test jig 2,000 ohms and these voltages 3.4 milliseconds, etc. But here's the number Here's where the rubber meets the road 6.4 Henry's I Expected it to be a lot higher than that. It's 55 ohms DC resistance So it has a, a Q of 29 point 7.5 at 1 kilohertz 6.4 Henry's I expected it to be 40 or 50 Henry's I don't know anyway that's what this little setup right here 
and what we do is we measure the voltage across uh, the whole um, instrument, the voltage into the, uh, the bridge that I built, and then we measure the direct voltage across the coil, and uh, it all goes into here, and then we measure this phase shift right here. I know some of you have told me to measure from uh, zero crossing to zero crossing, and I'm, I've done that. But I'll tell you what, if you if you actually go into here, if you go into the vertical menu and you put this thing in AC, if you put both of them in AC, and you try to measure it at zero cross, you will actually end up with an error because uh, at 40 hertz, the uh, capacitors in series to make it a uh, to make an AC coupling causes some phase shift in itself. So I don't do that. I just measure it peak to peak. I get the same answers measuring peak to peak as I do zero cross, and it's 3.4 milliseconds. See, I can move that, uh, move that. I measure the very peak of that one, then the very peak of the other one. You know, best I can. Looks about right. And then uh, look up there. There it is, the delta up there, 3.4 milliseconds. So that's what it is. About six and a half Henry's is uh, the primary inductance of this big guy right here. Really solid. If we measure the uh, primary, if we measure the inductance of this little guy right here, that little uh, cathode, center tapped cathode choke, I get like 315 Henry's. I won't go through all these measurements, although I love this stuff. I love to make all these measurements. But I wanted to do this before I built it, and it didn't work right, and then I wondered what happened. You know, don't start troubleshooting it. One of all the components are good. This is good too. I measured the. Uh, uh, inductance is I don't know what it's supposed to be of course but it's it's like 300 Henry's or so across here because this is a 50k primary or actually secondary this is a push pull grids this is a center tap grid to grid and uh, the way this works is this is ground and I guess that's a two and a half and the whatever and then you strap some of them together and then you get the next one and the next one and the next one so you get an enormous amount of uh, impedance uh, secondary impedance values out of it I'm really interested in this. This is not my amplifier. I'm building this for a young lady back in uh, Lexington, Kentucky. This is the power supply uh, connector that's going to go over to the power supply through this uh, little umbilical cord. It's permanently attached here in the back of this one. And um, yeah, I don't think I can show you with one hand what's underneath it. Well, maybe I can kind of pick it up. Yeah, see, it's just got a, it's still blank under there. It's got a terminal board. It's got a center tap transformer too, for some reason, I'm not sure why. Well, when you get this, you don't get instructions. This is a filament transformer, this is a plate transformer, this is a dual choke. I think the windings are here and here. I've measured them. So, uh, any help I can get with ideas of parallel push-pull 3B hundreds, 300 Bs, excuse me, parallel push-pull 300 B triodes would be most helpful. So that's it for tonight. That's all I'm going to post. I've got a lot of work to do. And uh, decide on exactly what to do exactly what schematic to build. Thanks for watching and appreciate any help you can give me.